beautiful and legendary city of Mexico, which was named the City of Palaces by Baron von Humboldt, has followed a path of constant progress in all fields of knowledge, but chiefly in that of science has she achieved an important place in the world. Among her many research centers, there is the National Geological Institute, whose central seismographic station at Tacubaya is the center of the seismological net of Mexico. Here, the most accurate instruments constantly record the slightest movements in the Earth, as this horizontal Wiechert seismograph is doing, with a pendulum weighing 17 tons. Somewhere in this Earth, there was a slight quake which was registered by the sensitive instrument. Among the furrows of a plowed field, there appeared a crack in the earth, from which escaped an apparently harmless puff of smoke. Scientists proceeded to study the seismogram by means of special scales, finally locating the center of the quake near Uruapan in the state of Michoacan, just outside a village named Paricutin. volcano has been born in Mexico, a wondrous spectacle that modern man has never yet seen. It is truly a momentous event that amazes not only the scientists of Mexico but of the whole world. The simple inhabitants of Paricutin, which name was also given to the new volcano, flee in amazement at the fury of the newborn. This is the church and quiet village of San Juan Parangaricutiro, which we see for the last time. It was totally destroyed and covered by the devastating lava of the volcano, even though it is five miles away, having various intermediate terrain features which seem to offer protection. The humble natives of that region, fearing always the supernatural, flock to the church to implore divine help. Nature seems to aid in making this phenomenon more tragic. The burning lava continues its destructive course, leveling everything, destroying whatever lies in its path, burning the vegetation, and hurling great rocks white with heat. The lava covers the valley in such a way that it will be difficult for future generations to believe that 600 feet underneath this chaos, formed in a few days, there was once fertile farmland. reached the happy and quiet village. Here we see frightful scenes of destruction and desolation which speak for themselves. continues its reign of fire and hot lava, destroying everything gradually but surely. Having totally buried the village of San Juan, there remains now only the church tower as a silent and solitary witness to the existence of a community on this spot.
binocular views are seen at dusk, the sky reddened by the blaze that comes forth from the bowels of the earth seems to transport us to a strange world, imposing, terrifying, a world which grips our spirit with the terror and awfulness of nature let loose in all its fury. The lava, in great boulders on one side, and like a river of fire on the other, burns the forests, providing unforgettable scenes. A curious phenomenon is observed at night. The enormous balls of fire seem to float in the air in spite of their great weight. This is explained by the fact that their great speed of ascent is counteracted by gravity, seeming to be suspended in mid-air just before their fall. Realizing that such an event might not be available to photography again in our lifetime, we approach this inferno still more at the risk of our lives in order to be able to photograph the bottom of the crater itself with its five mouths vomiting fire. A scene of wonder and awe never before witnessed by man, but now recorded with all the impact of its impressive reality so that future generations might see and understand how a volcano is born. <laughs>